Hi everybody, this is Lars from KitCamStuff.com. Today we're going to look at SolarWorks costing. Use SolarWorks costing to find the right price. Um, it's about time that I'm showing this product. They've been around for a few years um, and I really think that Craig Tarion and the rest of the SolarWorks guys have done a really good job with this product. It's kind of like the idea about let's you know extract some data out of SolarWorks, put it in the hands of engineers and designers and, and, and help them you know, become better at um, helping them getting, you know, the information they need. Um, it, it exists in the professional and the premium package. So many of you guys who have SolarWorks Professional already have this product. Um, and, and it's really uh, neat. So, so I want to jump into it and, and, and kind of like show it to you. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like going to break it down to three different steps. Uh, I thought that would kind of like make it, make it easy. I'm going to try to keep this you know, uh, 10, 15 minutes long, and just kind of like give a good overview over what the product is. So, so after these 10 minutes, you should really have a good idea about what it can do. It works in um, it really in parts and multi-body um, environment. It can do milling, it can do water jets, it can do turning, stuff like that. But it does not work into an assembly level. And that I think is just purely because, well, many times you want the pricing on the parts, not on the total assembly right so you can run a, you can run multiple of these costing uh, things so now for that let's jump in and take a look at what it is so first of all it runs right inside SOLIDWORKS um, and uh, it's not really even an add-on um, it actually sits right on the evaluation toolbar you'll see costing sitting right over here if you don't see the evaluation toolbar if you right click that's where you can turn all the different tabs on in there so clicking costing and um, costing is, is template based. I want to show that in step number two. First uh, one here, I just want to kind of like show how it's working inside SOLIDWORKS. But when I turn costing on, it's going to go out and it's going to grab a template. Now with this template here, it's going to give us a, a base price that is kind of like figuring out down here. So, so things working on your right, but you can also see we can have quantities of parts. And then over on the left over here, we will see we got another tab. And here things have kind of like been broken down into different segments. We can even add like custom operations. So I added a little weld going around here, right? And I also wanted this fancy yellow color. So you can add these special operations and of course apply a cost to that. On top of that, we can see here we're actually using the SOLIDWORKS functions in here, such as the sheet metal function of it here. So right now I'm in the multi-body, like the, the final cost of this multi-body part but if I just double click here you will actually see that it's going to open up just the sheet metal portion of here and with the costing uh, turned on it will actually run right up here and give us a price of this now as soon as we go in here you will see that the costing template have been changed to sheet metal so it knows what is machining and what is sheet metal and and you will see that you can apply different uh, materials this is an, an, an icon most people know this means we can actually set it back to SOLIDWORKS because we're still inside SOLIDWORKS so if I click over here you'll see the feature tree right um, we have a couple of other things in here like blank sizes uh, we can adjust in here there's some markup and discounts and stuff like that but it's really neat if we go over and look over to the left over here is that you will see all the cut parts done with in this case uh, maybe a laser and also the bend, so it looks and it included the price for bending this part up. Now, where I think that there's kind of like two things I think that, that the costing can help you with. One thing is in the middle of your design, when you're designing the part, that you can get that feedback very quickly, um, you know, what effects you're doing with your part. If you're adding some holes, if you're extracting some things, what does that really do to the part? And then, of course, the other thing, um, if you're like doing quoting, like a machine shops, stuff like that, um, you know, what should your price be for the part? But for just for, to show you the first one here, you know, as I'm sitting in here, I got this $52.47. Well, if I go to my feature tree and I actually suppress uh, this feature, you will see that, of course, the, the parts, <laughs> Uh, the holes goes away but you will also see that my my template over here is going to update the price because now it don't have those holes in there again that's coming out of this template you will also see my cut paths have now turned down to one so very quickly like this can this be updated in here and you can bring things back into uh to your um the part in here to your main part so now the price over here is is based on that and i can even set it as kind of like a baseline I can say alright this is where where I want to start with that 
I also wanted to show if I click on one of these machine parts here, um, if I open one of those up, again, it's going to change to a machining template. Um, material is the same, but now it actually knows that the stock is coming out of a plate, maybe a block or if it's round out of a cylinder, um, and, and, and it will update things um, in here. Now, this part here is kind of like going to be going to be cut out. Uh, there's some free cut pads in here. You'll actually see I have a, a, a setup uh, in here, but I also have a load and unload. So you can even include stuff like that in here. Now, what is neat about this is it gives you flexibility to quickly change things in here. So if I know that these two holes, I actually don't want to, to cut them as I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to change these two to change them to a drilling operation. I can just right click. My price will update. It's going to cost a little bit more. But on top of that, the software even knows that it's going to add additional setup and load and unload because of that. And you will see that our drilling operations uh, have now become, you know, actually machining operations in there. So the software is, is, is smart enough that right here on the fly, I can literally make changes. And we will see that our baseline changed on this part here and very quickly go in and get, you know, when you're changing things, the things update. So this is really how it works right in here inside SolidWorks. It gives you really these live uh, feedback um, in here. And I think that this is really neat. What it does is it uses your existing data, right? You already model things up in SolidWorks, and now you can actually start getting getting this set up. But like I said, it is done by templates. So so what you need to do is you need to, SolidWorks, it already comes with default templates, um, but you need to kind of like adjust that to, for your values, of course. So let's look at those, I call it the building blocks, these these templates here. So back into SolidWorks, and uh, I have another part in here, uh, this little, this block here. Um, and uh, it's a SolidWorks part, um, and again, it, it will kind of like look at a different um, cost um, of, um, of this part here. Now, if we go in and we look at uh, one of these templates <clears throat> in here, um, we can go in and we can actually look at what's inside the template. I'm not going to spend way too long in here, but um, if you look in here, of course, you can choose if you're doing metric, whatever you're doing. You have uh, stock, and you can add your own stock um, in here. You can write your own stock down here with, um, you know, thicknesses and cost. So that that is a is a is a um, you know price varies on materials. SolidWorks don't update these numbers. You would have to, you know, maybe you change them every three months. You go in and adjust them as, as things goes. You can of course also set up machines in here, so you can have different machines um, in here, and that's literally just again just clicking on something, um, adding your machine name in here for whatever you want. Um, you can add. You know things like your your machining cost per hour, labor cost. Um, you know things like unload and load time and that kind of stuff. Down here we go more into the specific operations. So for a, a water jet or plasma cut or something like that, the materials for the machining it gets a little bit more detailed. So it would actually go in here and filter down on materials and of course on machine types. So you can go in here and you can see the different machine types, um, maybe the different um, you know types of mills you have available. You know, so we have a certain amount of face mills available in here. And for anybody who's doing like um, you know estimation for quote for machining, you will see a lot of the the the, the things in here like your diameters, your cutters, surface feed, uh, surface speed, and stuff like that. And you can add all that stuff. Plus, you can also add custom operations in here like painting or anodizing or heat treat. Um, you can even associate it with library features inside of SolidWorks. So the templates here are really neat for you to kind of like uh, work them up and, and, and get things um, in there. Now another thing I wanted to show you also do uh, get when it comes to, to the data is you can actually also click up here on costing options and um, you could actually go in and do it more like on volume. So this is really good if you have a part and you can set different um, you know, machining types, or you can go in and do it per volume removed. So if you already have a part that you know kind of like how much it costs to do things, if you have another part that is very similar, you can actually do it on volume and use that um, instead of um, of the, the, the costing uh, template in here, and it will figuring out 
the volume on that. You will also see that if there are certain features that the, the software don't see, uh, in my case, I have like three different features that there's no cost assigned to it. SolarWorks will flag it with you here, and you can actually now go in and you can you can change that process to uh, cost per volume or to something else. Um, and now that will be applied in here with a, a certain cost to it. So you have this right on the uh, as you're working here, you can override cost and stuff like that. So it's really neat how you can kind of like tweak this into to the numbers that you have and that's the idea it's your knowledge it's, it's your values you know what works you put it in there and now you know as you're working right inside the software you can do that lastly share and percent so there's a couple of things that I think that they have they have really been clever about one thing is that I gotta show you is that actually <clears throat> when we're inside this template editor you can actually uh, save a template out as a save as a limited access copy. What that means is that when you tweak everything the way you want, then you can actually give that maybe to your machine shop or even if you send it out to one of your vendors and now they cannot they cannot see where the price is coming from. So that would be, you know, if, if you have a if you're sending work out to other machine shops, you can even send this out as hey this is the price that you know we're gonna pay you for making this part but you're not letting them know where you get that from so that's one thing that is really neat the other thing that is neat is that you can exit down here in the in the lower right you can generate a costing report and um, I already did one so let me just switch over to our other part here because it takes a few maybe take a minute or two to do that so I'm not gonna bore anybody let's just go in here and open up um, one and it comes out as a as a word document. Actually, I'll read it open. <clears throat> a word document here um, that gives you a lot of detail. Uh, you can put logos in. Uh, we can see here we got the price um, for the part with the different adjustments you do. Um, you can set custom operations, but it actually goes further now where this is a multi-body part and break it down per part. So this is really neat. Gives you some good data. Um, here that you can adjust and what is really neat about this is first of all you can send this along with the part right uh, you could print it out as a PDF or something like that and this could be really good information to have you know when you go and you look at different designs or something like that that you have this costing here so I really think that that SolarWorks have done nice with that they give you you know a better way to communicate that to um, you know to, to to whatever you want so you don't have to run out to the guy out on the shop floor maybe and, and 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 get his price again so just to quickly recap in here it runs right inside SolarWorks it comes with a professional premium it works on parts um, and multi-body parts so it takes your existing data the stuff you're already modeling up and and it will give you around that on the building block side or the these these templates you know that's where you get a chance to put in what works for you you know every shop does things a little bit different um, and, and, and every factory does things different and it gives you a, a nice chance of that and then I think in the end that you actually can communicate this to you know send it along you can actually send it out in some kind of a format that somebody else will be able to look at, at and understand so I hope that um, that this was a pretty quick uh, painless uh, overview uh, over costing um, like I said <clears throat> I think SOLOS have done a really good job with this they're keeping on developing on it and it's really a tool to sit down and, and 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 try to you know dig into it and see see what it can give can get uh, what you can get out of it. So thank you so much. Uh, my name is Lars L A R S. You're always welcome to uh, to comment on the blog or send me an email at lars at cat, uh, camstuff .com. I hope you have a fantastic day.